Yo, 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 homie. This is here, number 81. Showing y'all how it's done. Welcome to my hood, presenting Fuck Tricks 101. You know, you know how you do it, man. It's a trip, people don't even believe we're together. Springtime here out in the coast, nobody at Newtime Shinny, so why not make a video about lacrosse style moves, the techniques, the technology, and how they could be done in the higher level leagues like the like the pros. Okay, executing lacrosse style moves is all about being able to grip the puck with the blade, so having more friction on the puck with the blade than what's underneath the puck, which is the ice. And it wasn't until this year I started surfing that I got the extra cold surf wax. This stuff sticks like crazy. Now you can put a layer of the regular surf wax on with a heat gun and then follow up with the extra cold on top. Keep it fresh. Grips the puck, puck like none other. And then if the puck is dry or the puck is warm, also improves the grip on the puck. So keeping the puck surface dry uh, will allow the, the uh, wax to grip. But even in uh, bad conditions, this wax still can pick up the puck. Get the stick low, pressure the outside edge of the puck, um, accelerate the puck back into a J stroke and using the centripetal force the puck rolls up on edge and contacts and beds into the wax uh, of the uh, the stick blade and this gives you the control you need for the lacrosse style moves. In a game situation very difficult to set up this style of move because of the time it takes and the also the ice conditions Especially at the pro level, the game's so fast, you don't have time to uh, set it up. Uh, I don't think it's ever going to happen. It's been very rare in a game situation as well. Uh, but in the shootout, I think it, uh, it's totally possible to do. Very deceiving for the goalie. Uh, gives the player complete control where the puck is going to go. Um, you can get a lot of velocity on the shot. Um, a lot of deception, you know, coming from one side of that and spinning around and getting the other. I think because the moves are so different, there's an advantage to the shooter. It'd be very entertaining for the fans, help sell the game. So with a reliable uh, connection to the puck through, uh, you know, use of lots of wax, get a new stick off the bench, ask the ref to dry the puck. Yeah, it could be done in the shootout and it would look, be cool. Here's uh, Joe giving me a pass. Hockey player to lacrosse player. It's the first time I've ever done this. I had a hockey, uh, lacrosse stick out in the rink. But, uh, and the first time I had a lacrosse stick in my hand uh, in a long, long time. But it was, uh, yeah, brought back some memories. Um, just to, you know, give the flavor of the lacrosse style versus the hockey. Okay, one of the things to do is to uh, practice dry land. Because when you're at the rink, you know, everybody's watching, whatever. So uh, we designed a practice puck called the Sky Puck, and um, it works well on, on you know hard surfaces. There's low friction on hard surfaces, yet the wax will still grip the puck in the top. And um, yeah, the Sky Puck extremely durable, oversized, so um, you can get it to roll up on edge fairly easy. You can also do these moves while you're moving on uh, inline skates uh, on concrete or smooth asphalt. Works great and uh, work out the moves beforehand, well beforehand, in motion. There is, you know, doing doing things stationary is always easier than in motion, so when you're actually moving, that's that's when the real real trick is, uh, to, you know, to do these moves at speed, because it's a whole different dynamic than when, when you're uh, ripping along the ice, you know, you have to match the speed of the puck, so get a sky puck, get practicing, get your surf wax, there'll be a link on our website, this is number 81, Paul Jagger. See you again next time, and thanks for watching.